So I'm going to talk about citrine. So it's um, yellow or brown or orange. It originates from Brazil, Argentina um, and Madagascar. So it has a mass hardness, a uh, scale of seven. It's fairly rare and can be expensive. So it's usually, oh, hang on a minute. It's usually sold in its natural form. Get my face out of the way, there you go. Um, because the carving process can destroy most of it. I think it's just the structure of it. Um, a lot of citrine is heat treated amethyst. Uh, it name, its name comes from the French for lemon. No surprise there. Um, citrine and amethyst can be found growing in proximity to each other, not underground. Um, so it radiates positivity um, and happiness, and it's also an aura protector. Uh, so if something's off, its spider senses will pick it up. Uh, so between 300, <coughs> sorry, between 300 and 150 BC, um, citrine was found um, in the handles of daggers and swords in Scotland uh, because they believed it was um, like it used it for protection. Um, it's a very powerful tool for building confidence, uh, mental toughness, um, overcoming challenges. Um, citrine is known as the merchant stone because obviously it was it swapped hands hundreds and hundreds of years ago um like instead of money and stuff like that um it's believed to or was believed to carry the energy and the power of the sun um it brings energy clarity and creativity to the wearer um the healing properties include its ability to cleanse your solar plexus and uh, your like your navel chakras, um, and it promotes self healing. Um, its protective qualities are guarding against negative energies and promoting a sense um, of security and confidence. So that's probably another reason they had them in the handles of their swords and their daggers. So, if you've been suffering from low self-esteem, get a citrine. Um, in an emotional rut, get a citrine. Lack clarity, get a citrine. Um, preparing for a new pursuit or new job or new ideas, get a citrine. Um, Citrine gives you that extra boost and optimism and confidence. It's a crystal kick up the ass, basically. Um, so to care for your crystal, obviously you need to cleanse it when you first get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe I need a blue one at the moment for my throat. So citrine needs cleansing more than most crystals or all crystals really um, because it draws out all of your negativity energies negativity of anyone who's standing by you in your vicinity um, and it alleviates a uh, chaotic headspace so <clears throat> so Maybe that's what it's doing at the moment, it's drawing it all out. I haven't worn citrine for ages and there we are, coughing and spluttering away. I've been fine all day. <laughs> um, anyway, um, it's funny how crystals work sometimes. 
um, they do tell you, you do know when, you, when you've been wearing them and certain things start happening and you're like, ooh, a bit odd. Um, so yeah, um, you can, like most crystals, put it in moonlight, um, run it underwater, um, this is all like for cleansing and for charging. Um, bury it in soil for a bit because again, it comes from underground. Um, you can sage it with a smelly stick and all that. Or, like I always do, I always, I always, every crystal I run it under water. And then I usually leave it just next to this big old sunlight stick or my other one. Um, just to cleanse it um and also if you are you when you do sort of like clear it under running water get a paintbrush and go to that because if you look look at all those little nook, nooks and crannies that the dust can get into um yeah, so also keep it out of direct sunlight like amethyst, uh, like rose quartz. It can um, fade the, the colour of citrate. I mean, to be frank, apparently, if this is left in sunlight, it only takes it four hours to turn clear. So you've gone and spent money on your citrine and in four hours because you've left it in the windowsill it's all just this color gutter i haven't actually done that to one of these i've done it to a rose quartz before gutted um it's sensitive to heat as well so it can change color at relatively low temperatures um Yes, also when you are, I mean, you can clean it with running water, because like, I always do. But please, please don't leave it in water for long periods of time. Um, it will crumble. Um, over the years, I've had this for a long, long time. Over the years, you can see I've had bits break away. It was it, it come out about here. Had all these bits, they've crumbled away, but in tiny little bits. So what I've done is I've put them into like the flower pots, um, just to give my plants a bit of a boost. You can do that with all sorts. Rose quartz is a good one. It was rose quartz or citrine. They're normally quite good for your plants as well. Um, so for abundant energy, uh, self-confidence, a prosperous life, and a zesty kick up the jacksy, Citrine is your crystal. Thank you for listening.